So let's look at how do you view CPU and memory utilization that a particular Docker container is making when you're running it uh, on your machine or on your host machine, right? So for the purpose of this demonstration, I have a Docker uh, host, which is my Fedora machine running on DigitalOcean, right? So if I do a quick top here, I'll see that my total memory is 16 GB of RAM. Uh, that's the total memory I have. So I'll quit it. Now, uh, what? so in the Docker ecosystem, the terminology that is used is stats, S-T-A-T-S. That is the command that Docker gives, which allows you to see all the details of CPU, memory utilization, number of processes running within a given container or all the running containers at one point. So let me run. So down here in this terminal, I'll run Docker stats. Uh, so Docker stats by default shows you the CPU and memory utilization for all the containers, all the running containers. So I'll run it and I'll leave it running. It will keep running in the background here. Uh, in the foreground actually here. Now over here, I'll run a container. In So in this case, I'm running uh, in daemon mode, giving it a name nginx container and the image nginx. So immediately you can see here came this same container which starts with 48AE067, which is this one, name nginx container. Currently CPU utilization is 0%. Uh, there are two processes running and memory utilization is 0.02%. So as I showed you, my host machine has 16 GB of RAM. Oh, I need to zoom out a bit. Has 16 GB of RAM out of which 2.53 MB is being used by this particular container. Now what I could also do is I could exec into this container in bash now, the moment I started bash, because bash is a separate program in itself, the number of processes went from two to three. Uh, went from two to three, right? So if over here, if I look, uh, okay, I don't have top installed by right now. So top is the program which allows you to see the running processes uh, live. So I can install top qu quickly. Uh, So proc ps is the package in the Debian world, which gives you a talk command. Right, so now uh, I'll just install run top. So notice top again itself is a program. So the total number of programs running are four now, one, two, three, and four. So over here, the process ID jumped to four from three, right? and so that's how you can see all the running processes. Uh, if you want to see the list of running processes, you can use top as a command. On the other hand, if you want to see it directly from Docker host, what all memory usage is happening within a given container, you can use it by this way. Now, what if I want to, I have multiple containers. So let me come out of this Nginx container. So see the moment I came out, again, the process IDs went down to two from three because bash is no longer running. I just exited from that. So let me run another container. Uh, this time I'll run Ubuntu container uh, and I'll run the program bash in it. So I'm running it in, in interactive mode because it doesn't run in, in detached mode by default. So now I have a new container over here, Ubuntu container, which is currently again utilizing 0% CPU and 0.01% uh, memory. Now let us increase this. So by increase, I mean, let us uh, basically make some activity on this. One way of doing activity is making some processes over here. So I'll run apt get update. If I do that, because the program will be running to update the sources file, there should be some activity in the CPU and memory usage. So let's examine this. So see the process IDs is jumping from 2 to 12 to 6 and the memory usage also jumped around. Uh, now again, I could install proc.ps here. So 
So using proc, I can use the top command. So top, it shows me that currently there are two programs running, bash, which I ran to come inside Ubuntu container and top, which I'm running right now to see the list of processes. And that's exactly what I can see here. It, there is two processes running inside Ubuntu container. Uh, now let me close this and install IP utils ping. So IP utils ping is the package which allows you to use the ping command uh, so that you can ping any website or any IP address and see your network connectivity and how much time it takes for it to respond. All right, so now I'll do ping google.com. So because I'm running ping google.com, the process ID again went from one to two. Now this time the network input output jumped to 26.2 MB uh, and running right now. If I stop this, the network input output halts over there. It doesn't change anymore, right? So that's basically because instead of uh, storage block IO, I was this time doing net IO. Now, if I exit this container, the Ubuntu container will be immediately gone, as you saw over here. Now, the only container I have running is the Nginx container, which is over here. So if I stop this container as well, that is gone as well. So that's how you can use Docker stats uh, to see the CPU memory utilization, network input output or block, which is um, more of a hard disk input output, as you call it, uh, for all the running containers on a given host machine. This is quite useful, especially when you have like hundreds of containers running your applications and you want to see which containers are hurting your CPU the most or are costing dearly on your CPU. And you can examine which ones should you be limiting resources to or which ones should you be, which machines machines should you be scaling up or down based on the required CPU and memory capacity. So that's it for this video guys. Uh, don't forget to like or subscribe if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something new today. Uh, also in comments, please let me know how can I improve these videos or what all extra things would you like me to cover in this series. Thanks again for watching and stay tuned for more.